That night, workers were under pressure to complete a test before a deadline. Communication was poor. When the power level in the reactor dropped too low, operators tried to fix it by pulling out too many control rods. This made the reactor unstable, breaking that delicate balancing equation. When they finally pressed the emergency shutdown, a design flow caused a sudden surge, leading to the explosion. For the people living nearby, the disaster was sudden and shocking. Buses arrived to evacuate the city, with officials telling families they would return in a few days, but no one ever came back. Modern nuclear plants are very different from the one at Chernobyl. After the disaster, governments and engineers around the world reviewed every step of reactor design. Today, reactors have multiple safety layers. If one system fails, another takes over. If something unexpected happens, the reactor is designed to shut itself down automatically. Most modern plants are built inside thick containment buildings, which are huge domes of steel and concrete. Even in extreme accidents, these structures prevent radiation from escaping. In Chernobyl's RBMK reactor, there was no strong containment structure. So when the explosion happened, radiation escaped freely. In modern reactors, by contrast, those massive reinforced concrete domes would have trapped radiation and prevented such a disaster. 